Today I will explain Genshin Impact's 5.1 Archon Quest in just a few minutes. The story starts by the Traveler and Paimon heading to the Adventurers Guild where Kachina approached them and decided to introduce them to Shilonen, another member of the Children of the Echoes tribe and the ancient name forger. She tried to create Traveler's ancient name but claimed it was impossible to do for the Outlander. We also learned that the person who rescued Capitano during his fight with the Pyro Archon was Ororon. Ororon is an orphan who was abandoned as a child but is now getting raised by apparently Granny Sitlali despite the fact that she is literally like in her 20s. Either way we met Sitlali and then together with her we started tracking down Ororon then a traveler passes out and wakes up back in Night Kingdom where he meets Ororon and Capitano. They told him to come meet them up and so he did after he woke up. Capitano is against Mawuika as he actually also wants to protect Natlan but does not believe that Mawuika's plan will be successful. But then the meeting gets interrupted by a worried Sitlali. Such a caring red she is. However, we then meet with the, you know, Pyra Archon and ask her about her plans on how to save Natlan while still needing to figure out what would Capitano's plan be. Capitano also seemed like he was looking for Sitlali and so Ororon was spying on him to see what the Fatui is up to. Turns out that Capitano came to the conclusion that in order to save Natlan, ley lines must be reconstructed. However, Mawika didn't agree with his plan and so it pursued Capitano and Ororon. And suddenly Ororon started going through his memories from the past and well, he has desires to do something meaningful in his life as he thinks he hasn't done anything yet. With that, Ororon lets out the hero of their tribe and now he made him to be the fifth of the six heroes in Mawaika's plan. Then the Lord of the Knights and the ruler of Night Kingdom told us some useful information which the reason on why Oloran was suffering was because he has a damaged soul, so the device affected him more. In the end, activating this device was kind of pointless as it wouldn't repair the rain lines anyway, instead just awake the Lord of the Knights. Although she could help them, but Mawaika rather went with her own plan. Capitano also revealed that he's actually from Canria, a survivor from its cataclysm. We had Capitano agree to the Pyro Archon's plan, therefore the Fatui were now on our side. Eventually the Abyss started their attack on Nathlan and so we went around the region, killing the monsters and saving people, trying our best to have the least amount of casualties. During the battle, Kuichi, Chaska's sister, lost her life and because of the pain Chaska was suffering, the hero from her tribe, Manilek, made Chaska the final sixth hero for Mawurika's plan. With all of the required present heroes, they used the power which the first Pyro Archon gained from the ruler of the dead at the cost of Mawurika later needing to die once again. With that, they successfully defeated the Abyss, at least for now. Either way, this was the entire story. Hopefully you enjoyed it again. Thanks for watching this video and paying attention and clicking on it. In either case, I will see you all in my next video.